my grandmother was a reference librarian at our local public library and I spent, I would say, the majority of my childhood in the library. Um, it was a place that was sort of like my second home and I made my way through the children's section very early on and moved on to, you know, novels and such and then I realized at some point in high school that I really loved theater. Um, and the theater section was quite small um, so I was working my way through and Angels in America was there. It sort of, I think, spoke to um, a very real and maybe unexplored part of myself. And I think it's a play that I've always sort of gone back to. Sort of the themes and uh, the issues explored and the characters and the language and the spectacle of the, of the piece, I think, are all things that um, that really move me and also I think in my own writing uh, th they really motivate. It's sort of like this is, this is what a story can do. This is how a story can be told in a highly theatrical way that can then um, sort of make you feel something, um, can also teach you something, can sort of push you towards a personal revelation. It's a beautiful play. I think it's hopeful in a way that a lot of um, writing isn't hopeful now. His work really sort of speaks to this generation and also past generations. I think it's sort of a really universal and singular voice that I hadn't encountered before. It's a coming of age story for 2010. Um, I think it's, it speaks to uh, what it means to be a teenager now, um, but also sort of what it meant to be a teenager back in the day and decades before. Um, I think that period is such an awkward period of your life where you're trying to find yourself. And I think when you're from a small town, it's really hard to do that, especially when you feel like an outsider. Um, especially, you know, when it comes to issues of sexuality. And I think that this generation sort of has moved forward in an amazing way of acceptance and all of that. But there are definitely things that aren't spoken about, especially in families. Um, and I think that this sort of cracks that open. I think there's some um innocence and hope within youth as a whole and that part of the idea of the human experience is to retain that as you get older and as life chips away at you more. The piece is about, uh, about revelation, about coming to a point in your life where you understand something about yourself and you are willing to claim it and then go out and live it. I think it's also about uh, parents and children and their changing relationship as you know, the kid grows up and is moving towards leaving the nest. Um, I also think it's about, it's about love. It's about um, sort of finding love and, and what love can do to sort of make it okay to, to claim maybe that part of yourself that, uh, that is unconventional. I'm really excited that we get a chance to develop it this summer and then to make it fly.